Global Education Media presents Education Report on TV, the television program that promotes educational events and activities across the country for parents, students, practitioners in educational fields across categories, corporate organizations with products and services that appeal to the youths, government officials, particularly those saddled with the responsibility of managing education and the general public. It also covers programs and activities in the educational sector, such as awards and opening ceremonies, school into house sports, collaborative engagement with NGOs, as well as corporate organizations, plus vocational and technical education, institution for people with special education needs, individual contribution towards the growth and development of education while celebrating success in the educational sector at all levels. Please contact 0803-323-2771 or 0812-120-1359. Education Report on TV. Promoting excellence in education on television nationwide. The 27th of May every year has over time been set aside as Children's Day in Nigeria. On this special day, the rights of the Nigerian child are always highlighted with the aim of protecting them. In Lagos State, a special event was organized for the children at the police college ground. Present at the event were members of the State Executive Council, stakeholders and the education sector, parents, teachers, students and pupils from schools across Lagos State. The 2015 Children's Day in Lagos State was a fun-filled one for the children as the day was spiced up with a march passed by various voluntary organizations, cultural representations from the students and the cutting of the cake. We are the future we are the dream, we are the nation, we are part of this, yes we are so amazing, that's the least we shall be, at the heart of the nation changing history, how can they say that we are finished, we have just begun, when we have no dreams we are the nation we are part of this oh, oh. we are the nation we are part of this Director General Office of Education Quality Assurance, Mrs. Runke Shoyombo, in an interview with Education Report on TV, made it known that the day was indeed an interesting and eventful one. It's been a brilliant um, presentation today, particularly celebrating children, and um, I'm sure we've all enjoyed it. Children have shown quite a lot of skills, and um, I have to tell you that um, we're proud of them. They're the future leaders, and I'm so happy with the way Lagos State is actually supporting our children. Ekoni Baji. Joy Ofoche, a student of Army Cantonment Junior Secondary School, also expressed high excitement. And I feel happy about today. I feel as in this place is so interesting. It was exciting. I felt as in, I felt good today when I was here. The State University of Basic Education Bob Subeb also used the Children's Day celebration as a platform to flag off the registration of early childhood care and development education and primary one pupils into the state public primary schools for the year 2015-2016 academic session.
chairman of the board, Mrs. Bola Ondaudu, stated that according to the Universal Basic Education Law, parents and guardians are enjoined to register their children and wards who are five years plus into primary schools. What is significant about today is the fact that it is the commencement date for the registration of all children who are six years old or should be six years old by September 2015. Universal Basic Education Act or law enjoins all parents and guardians of all our children to make sure that they are registered into any public primary schools once they are five years plus so that by September 2015 they should be six years. One of the parents, Mrs. Favor Oluwa Fisayo, urged other parents to register their children saying education is the best legacy to be given to a child. I came here in registration of fulfilling the law. As we all know that our country says we should educate the children for a better future. I'm happy because I was able to bring my boy today for registration. I will encourage other parents to bring their children for registration because getting the education is the best legacy we can, we can give to them. I'm so happy. In all, the hope and aspiration of the Lagos State Government is to ensure that the future of the state is left in capable hands. This is to inform the general public, particularly parents and guardians of primary six pupils, that the placement test into GSS1 classes into the public junior secondary schools for the 2015-2016 academic session has been scheduled for Saturday the 11th of July 2015 by 8am at the various designated centers across the state. Only primary six pupils in the public and approved private primary schools in Lagos State are eligible to sit for the placement test. It is mandatory that parents and guardians of primary six pupils in approved private schools ensure that their children and wards register through their respective schools. With the Lagos State Examinations Board, if Paja Road at Gege, parents and guardians should also note that only candidates who obtain 50% cumulative pass mark and 50% in English language and mathematics will be placed into GSS1. Any pupil that fails to sit for the test will not be admitted into GSS1 in any of the state's public junior secondary schools. Registration closes on the 5th of June 2015. Announcer, Mrs. Bola Khadija Daudu, the Executive Chairman, State University of Basic Education Board. In 2012, the Lagos State Committee on Inclusive Education was inaugurated with the purpose of ensuring that all children have access to quality education in the state, irrespective of their circumstances of birth, financial challenges, social cultural background, and beliefs. Speaking at the presentation and endorsement of the Lagos State Inclusive Education Policy held at the conference room of the Ministry of Education, Alausa Ikeja, the chairman of the committee, who is also the Tutor General Permanent Secretary, Education District 2, Mrs. Margaret Titilayo Shulari, highlighted the terms of reference for the committee, some of which are identifying out of school children, plans to bring them back to school, and advocacy and awareness raising on inclusive education education to mention but a few. The goal of the committee is to ensure that all children have access to qualitative education in Lagos State. The following are some of the terms of reference of this committee. To identify out of school children in Lagos State, plan how to bring them to school, plan for out of school children activities, advocate for database on out of school children, Work with PRS Department of Ministry of Education, SUBE. Plan a project for including education activities in MTSS. Advocacy and awareness raising in inclusive education. Monitor progress and ensure sustainability of inclusive education activities. Support development of policy proposal on inclusive education. 
The Commissioner for Education, Mrs. Olayinka Olatunjui, appealed to stakeholders in the state's education sector to make judicious use of the document and at the same time ensuring that education is made available to all the children in Lagos State. The state government took a bold step of action by starting a preschool education program in the state in 2003. And this was in compliance with the universal trend of inclusive education practice. We have created inclusive schools in all local, local government education authorities in the state. And quite a number of our children are given educational placement to all categories, especially needs we've been doing that. The adjustment of this document makes it operational and I'm happy to be the person signing it and kicking off the official. <laughs> and therefore, I appeal to all stakeholders in the education sector to make judicious use of this document and make sure education is made accessible to all children in the state, irrespective of their differences that may be in the forms of age, gender, disability, socioeconomic status, cultural background. The policy on inclusive education will indeed serve as a guide in providing education for children in the state, especially with the Lagos State Government determined to ensure that no child is denied access to quality education.